Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So as you can see from the title, I'm gonna be doing a uni Q&A. Um, so obviously this is my first Q&A on my channel. Well, I think I filmed like a f get to know me when I was like one, one of my first videos. But yeah, so I'm gonna be doing a uni Q&A. So I've got all the questions here. I did ask over on my Instagram um, what you wanted to know, like obviously, I wanted to do this video in in order to help the guys that go into uni in September or you're really not sure whether to do it whether you're you're like coming out of A-levels and you're like do I want to go to uni is it for me like I'm here to answer your questions you guys asked me quite a lot of questions um and obviously they'll keep this anonymous as well anonymous anonymous so the first question is what do you need to take with you now this is a really like personal preference question because obviously we all take different things we all like having different things um i would say um if you're going into like halls which obviously i did for my first year by the way guys um i am going into my second year in september so obviously my first year was cut short a little bit which is really really sad because i loved first year but um obviously it's fine because I've still got another two years. Um, so what do you need to take with you? So obviously if you're going into halls, I would recommend definitely like looking up. They'll always have like a checklist. I say that, I don't actually know if every uni has that because obviously I'm talking from my experience where I've been. Um, so when I looked, when I was booking my accommodation, like one of the first things that I did was get the list of what you what they recommend for you to take, um, which is obviously like if you... I don't know if you need to take a bed obviously if you're in halls you won't need to take a bed but it will tell you like what you don't need to take and what you do need to take um, in terms of like kitchen stuff um i would just literally go to ikea and just go crazy like what i would say is don't go mad with like the cutlery you only need like a little set for yourself like you don't need loads of cutlery otherwise it ends up being a nightmare washing up so just get like what you need like kitchen stuff just get maybe like four plates for about four of each um i got like a pack of six cutlery so six forks six knives six spoons that was fine for me and yeah i just took i pretty much cleared my room out i took everything to uni like literally all my clothes so when i went home i literally had no clothes which was a little bit annoying but I literally just went crazy and took pretty much everything because I wanted my room to be like what it is at home because I was worried that I was going to be homesick. So I wanted everything to kind of be with me so it would make me feel like I was at home. Into, but I would definitely recommend 100%, sorry I've got an itchy eye, 100% um, go into Ikea, best place, literally. Ikea, The Range, B&M, all of those places are just so good to get all your stuff. Don't bother going to like expensive places. <laughs> just go to like Ikea. It's such, it's so worth the trip as well. I literally will never forget my trip to Ikea for first year. Lo I loved it. So um, the next question is, people say when you're at uni, you are skint. Is this true or do you need to just be careful? um i feel like once again that is very much like personal preference again because obviously it depends on how well you are with your money um i would say from my personal experience there has been times where i have been like hard up for money like i i have always had to kind of work for my money um i've never been able to just get it off mum and dad like so I've always kind of had to have a job and had to work hard for my money. Obviously, you do get a student loan, um, which is obviously so helpful. Uh, what I would say is if you go and like spend all your money as soon as you get it, like if you get your loan and then you just go blow your money going out or in freshers or whatever, yes, you will be skinned. Like <laughs> you will be skinned. There's no point doing that. Don't do that. I feel like... Um, some people like it is a time in your life where you probably will be the skin tears. like i remember um i was really like i was not earning a lot from my job and i'd literally it was at the end of the the term so i hadn't i'd had no student loan left and i needed to obviously buy food and i had to get like i wanted to go out for meals and stuff and i literally run my mom and i was like i don't know what to do like i have i'm, I'm in my overdraft 
I'm skint, like, you know, keep it real. We all, we've all been skint and alive. And um, she was like, look, you're at uni. This is going to be the time where you're going to be skint. Just embrace it. <laughs> you know, you will, you'll be fine. Like, you'll, you can get help. You can get an overdraft. My overdraft has saved me. Um, if you know me personally, you'll know that for fact. My overdraft has saved me. I feel like um, definitely, yes, you do need to be careful. Don't just go and blow your money in the first week because in the second week, you'll realise that you do actually have to eat and you do actually have to live. <laughs> so the next question is, is it really party 24 seven? Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I go to Leeds, I haven't even said what uni I go to. I go to Leeds Beckett University and um, I, I love a night out, but I wouldn't say I'm literally out every single night because I would literally die. Like I, I can't do it, I can't hack it, I can't. But uni is party 24 7 like it is if, if you want to party 24 7 go to uni because there is something on every single night like um monday night quids tuesday night space wednesday night antics thursday night skin friday night colors whatever it's that's just like in leeds you guys will relate if you go to leeds if you fancy a night out like you can do that in the week obviously if you live in a, if you're from a city it's probably the same but yeah i feel like um it depends once again on the person because i obviously tw it is party 24 7 pretty much everyone loves everyone loves to go out when you're at uni but there are some times where like you don't want to go out and yeah so i would say it pretty much is party 24 7 um but if you do actually want to do well and get a degree you then have to analyze you know maybe going on that night out wasn't the best choice. The next question is how do you find the independence? Now I have always been an independent person like I've always been very independent. I don't know how to kind of explain it like when when my mum and dad split up and it was just like my sister went straight to uni so, so she was no longer about um, and then it was just my dad also moved to Spain so it was literally just me and my mum um, and she, I kind of learnt to just look after myself. Like, I'm not saying my mum didn't look after me. She did. She did a great job. But I kind of just did everything. Like, I cooked my own dinner. Like, I went, you know, I, just, I was a very independent person. So going to uni wasn't, like, a massive shock that I'm like, I've got to cook my own food. I've got to clean, like... Okay, the cleaning was a little bit of a shock, but I also um, went to boarding school. Um, I know a lot of people didn't know that, but yeah, I went to boarding school. So that makes you a very independent person. Um, you don't have your mum around to clean your room or you don't, you know, like you, you live by yourself. Um, and I feel like for me, I really, I'm really used to the independence and I actually really like it. Like currently, obviously we're in lockdown and I'm living back home. I feel like I kind of miss the independence a little bit because I'm like, you know, like I kind of, I want to cook my own food. Like I want to go and do my own shopping because I've learned what I like to do for me, you know? Um, I feel like if you're someone that depends on someone else and you're very like, you've never worked a washing machine or you've never cooked yourself a meal, then yeah, the independence of being at uni is going to be a shock to the system because you're on your own. Like you've got, obviously you're living with other people, but technically you've got to do everything yourself like, like you you just get used to it and I really enjoy the independence like I kind of grown to love it and I feel like living by myself or living without parents or whatever really suits me okay so moving on the next question is would you advise having a job before you go or would you just live off your, live off your student loan um now, me personally, I definitely did have a job because, I, well, to be fair, I was very, very lucky because um, my job that I was, I worked at Carphone Warehouse and I work, where I worked before I went to uni, I managed to get a transfer to the Leeds store. So as soon as I got there, like I had a job, I met people at work, they were all lovely. I literally, like I was having, like I was earning money as well as my student loan. And because of the situation that I'm in with my mum and dad split up and all that kind of stuff, I did get the maximum student loan. So I 
personally feel like I generally, even with getting the maximum loan, I could not live off just my student loan. Like it, it would not be possible for me. I don't know if that's because I'm a big spender when it comes to like, I like to go out, I like to go for meals. You know, I don't, I like to treat myself a bit, but personally, like I, I don't get any help off family and stuff. Um, so I, I don't think, I could live off my student loan so I feel like answering that question I think it, I would get a job I would probably just like see how you get on maybe like the first month or so so go to uni see how you get on and then just start looking for jobs here and there because then obviously you can get a job it's very easy to get a job like you can work in a bar you can work in a shop you can there's pretty much a lot of student jobs going so yeah I probably would advise getting a job um or if you're in a lucky situation where obviously your mum or your dad can give you money then just live off your student loan and not have a job like just chill out live your best life <laughs> is the so so the next question is is the social life as good as everyone makes it out um i feel like yeah the social life is really good because you're constantly like surrounded by your friends like you're living with your friends um and obviously there's always something to do so you can always like go out go for meals whatever um student life i'm making student life sound so amazing like you can't just go out for meals every single night i don't know why i'm saying that yeah i would say social life is really good um i have met like the most amazing people at uni and i probably will keep them friends for life so yeah i feel like the social life is as good as it makes out What's the best way to make friends at uni? I'm going in September and I'm really worried about not having any. Um, okay, so that's a really good question because I was exactly the same. I think like, I think everyone is exactly the same. When you're, you know, when you're put into the group chats like um, two weeks or three weeks before you go to uni and you're like getting to know everyone, like you, you think, oh my God, like, am I gonna get, am I gonna get along with these people? Um, are they gonna be my type of people? Because all your life you've known like your school friends or your work friends or whatever this is a completely new chapter in your life like it is completely like it's a brand new start no matter what you say like you have school you have college or whatever uni is like the next massive step and you're gonna meet new people and you're gonna probably change and you know it's it it is what it is like you do meet new people I think um, everyone feels the same, so don't obviously beat yourself up about feeling like that way. But I feel like the best way to like make friends is um, just talk to other people, like get to know people on your course, get to know people who you're living with. I would 100% recommend like talking to the people who you're living with before. We had a group chat um, like probably like two months before we all moved in and we was all chatting and it makes it a bit less awkward when you kind of finally meet because you're like oh I kind of know you already but um I would definitely say like don't just turn up at uni and then expect like everyone you know on the first week so like when you first move in obviously you have a think two weeks of freshers that was like how I, we had two weeks of freshers and you go to other people's pre's like you make friends like you're not going to be on your own like everyone is in the same boat you've got to remember no one knows anyone um but I would say like definitely do your research like find people who's doing the same course as you and message them like don't be afraid to message them because they're probably thinking exactly the same as you like shall I message you shall I not so yeah just you know message them ask them how they are like what they're doing um and then you've kind of got that like secureness that you've you've almost got a friend already and then you just build up so yeah don't be afraid that you're not gonna have any friends because um you will you definitely will um and no matter what happens like everyone is in the same boat so you're not the only one that doesn't know anyone um how did you know Leeds Uni was for you um okay so this question is quite interesting because I my sister went to uni in Leeds so I actually knew Leeds as a city quite well I wouldn't say I wanted to go anywhere else I'm not gonna lie I didn't look anywhere else like I didn't I always wanted to go to Leeds every time I'd go and visit my sister in Leeds I was like oh my god like I love the city like I love everything about it I knew it as well so even though it's four out four and a half hours away from where I live I almost felt like it was 
home not home but like I almost felt like I knew it it wasn't like a brand new city where I'm like oh my god I don't know this I don't know anyone but yeah for someone that like if you're a bit unsure and you've got like loads of choices go to all the open days and just trust your instinct like if something feels right like if you if you go there and you think this isn't for me I don't like this uni or I don't like the place or I don't like the halls don't go there because that's your instinct telling you it's a no-go so the last question um is is it worth the debt now I feel like this is a very common question for like people that don't go to uni but like they're kind of thinking about it or they want to know more about it um is it worth the debt I mean when you think about it you're like nine grand well more than nine grand because you have your maintenance loan as well but I honestly think it is worth the debt like I'm sorry but you don't have to worry about that debt in a long long time and you only start paying it back when you're well, like when you can when you when you're in the situation where you can pay it back and you're not going to notice it I feel like uni is such an incredible experience like I didn't just go necessarily to get a degree I went for the experience I went to meet new people live by myself grow as a person I feel like once I finish this three years I'm gonna be a different person I'm gonna like for the good I'm gonna be like a different like a different person where I'm like you're so much more grown up um and I feel like you learn so much from your uni days like I know I'm only in first year I feel like I should have probably filmed this once I've like finished uni but I've learned so much and I've been there for literally like a year so it's not even been a year because obviously we got cut short but I've literally I feel like I have learned so much and I've just as a per like just being just learned stuff about myself learned stuff about how to live learned stuff about the reality the real world like I yeah I think it is worth the debt because it's it's an experience you'll never get back and um I think it learn it teaches you a lot about yourself and life um and yeah so let's not worry about the debt I don't want to worry about the debt right now <laughs> hey guys that is the end of my uni Q&A um, I'm not too sure how long this is going to be but I feel like I've answered a lot of questions and I hope you guys have kind of got more of an insight if you are going to uni and you feel a little bit more comfortable about it and you know a lot more that you wanted to know but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video